So what is a modulator? So this is a modulator. This is a standard, typical Allison pull style modulator. We make a pull style and we make a push style. The modulator is what interfaces between the transmission and the throttle or the throttle body on the engine. And it tells the transmission when to shift in relationship to throttle position or RPM, ground speed and it tells it when to shift in those conditions. It's a mechanical modulator, hence the cable, because on the diesel engine you have no vacuum source, so you cannot use a vacuum style modulator. So these mechanical modulators are what really tell the transmission when to shift in relationship to how hard you're pushing on the throttle and how fast your truck is moving. How does a modulator work? Well, again, we have a pull style modulator, which you have a spring inside here, or as you can see on our push style modulator, it would be a compression spring rather than a tension spring. It's all in relationship to this spring and the pin inside the modulator as to the dimension it's set to for the transmission that it's going to interface with. These happen to be Allison modulators. We also make a variety of C6 modulators, which again, when a diesel engine is hooked to a C6, you have to have a mechanical modulator. This is a standard C6 modulator where you have, you'll find that you'll see the pin is sticking out of there. And in, on this case, this is a pull style C6 modulator. So how the modulator actually works, we will demonstrate with one of our modulator cables. To demonstrate the function of a modulator, you'll first see that it has a pin down inside of it. But to visualize the actual travel of that pin, we're going to put this gauge down in there. So you can see what when the output end, in this case, is pulled, that pin moves outward. This is the full travel of that pin, which is an eighth of an inch, approximately 150 thousandths. So when the throttle is pulled, this pin extends. And what happens is the transmission must build pressure, or the valve body, to push this back down to make a shift. Once it makes a shift, this returns. The sequence goes over and over again as it shifts through the gears. When the transmission is maxed out with your throttle, it's a very high spring pressure. It takes a lot of pressure in the transmission to push that back down to start that shifting sequence. So that is the difference between half throttle and full throttle and the difference in the spring pressure in the modulator versus the transmission pressure to overcome our pin and make a shift. Final note on the modulators is you'll notice that each modulator has an o-ring. These o-rings are critical when mounting these into the transmission. Where they mount is above the split line on the transmission and in certain conditions that transmission fluid can be exposed to the modulator and if the o-ring is damaged or not in place the transmission fluid will leak out. Additionally, to the fact that we make the Allison modulator and the C6 modulator, we also make a hydromatic modulator that looks just like the Allison. The only difference would be the pin height inside that modulator.